Welcome to BrainStuff, a production of iHeartRadio. Hey, BrainStuff, Lauren Vogelbaum here. Did you know that one bee has to fly approximately 90,000 miles, that's 145,000 kilometers, or about three times around the Earth, and gather nectar from some two million flowers to make a mere pound or half a kilo of honey? That's a lot of work for just one little Apis mellifera. So it's a good thing that honeybees are well-organized, task-oriented insects who stick together in huge families of several thousand workers per hive. And did you know that the honeybee is the only insect that produces food eaten by humans? And that honey never expires? Archaeologists have found pots of still edible honey in ancient Egyptian tombs that are thousands of years old. That's because honey is hygroscopic. It's great at absorbing moisture, so it'll basically desiccate any bacteria or mold that try to eat it. And it's acidic. With a pH somewhere between 3.5 and 4.0, it's about as acidic as orange juice. A groundbreaking 2018 study led by biologists at the University of California, San Diego, consolidates scientific data from around the globe to show that the honeybee is the most successful pollinator in the world, the most important single species of pollinator in natural ecosystems, and the single most frequent pollinator of naturally occurring flowers and non-crop plants on Earth. That's a pretty big, vital deal for the planet, and no small feat for creatures with a brain the size of a sesame seed. Their amazing B2B communication skills allow them to pipe, that is buzz, waggle, or dance, and beard, mm, in order to protect themselves and their life's mission, making honey. But let's go back to that last one. What the heck is bearding, and why do honeybees do it? It's all about keeping cool. Honeybees are able to regulate the temperature of their hive throughout the year. In winter months, they raise the hive's temperature by huddling together and vibrating their wings to generate body heat and keep warm, sort of like if you were to jog in place or rub your arms to warm up. But in the summer months, the average temperature of the hive should be between 90 and 95 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 32 to 35 Celsius. If it gets too hot, the bees will fan their wings to lower the temperature and circulate air throughout the hive. Sometimes they collect and place droplets of water inside the hive and then queue up at the hive's entrance and fan their wings, creating air currents that evaporate the water and push cool air inside. And while the fanners are outside fanning, there are bees on the inside fanning as well. 